So Ruby Frank and Kevin Frank are getting a divorce. Well, Kevin Frank has filed for a divorce. Now, if you don't remember who the Franks are, Ruby Frank is the YouTube influencer who is in jail right now for child abuse when she had her children taped and bound in the house and one of them was able to escape and go to a nearby neighbor's house. So, the father, Kevin Frank, is pretending to be appalled. Meanwhile, the older children were like, um, we have tried to report her, nothing happened, blah, 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 blah. So, now he's filing for a divorce, now that she's going downhill. I want to know, what is his angle? Because I don't, I, I will be completely transparent here. Try to be neutral. I don't trust this man. Your children were being abused and you were nowhere to be seen. So, now you file for a divorce? They weren't living together, apparently. So, what is his angle? What is what is he hoping to achieve from this? Let's do Celtic Cross off the top. What is he hoping to achieve from this? Has he just had enough? And I'm being too judgy? Or what is going on? Trying to escape liability, are we? What is going on? The Five of Wands, there is some fighting, arguing, bickering. Challenged by the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is security. Also, a bunch of money and luxury items. So let's see what we got going on here. And the root, the Ten of Swords. So everything is, is disastrous right now. Because this is in the root. The root is the sort of the cause of this situation that may be ignored because it's not usually blaring or it's not the thing you focus on. But there you go. In the past, we have the Three of Wands. So he was always at the edge waiting for that thing to sort of push it over. <sighs> hmm. Opportunist, but again, what do you want out of this? In the Crowning Thoughts, the Strength card. Strength card would say to me that there is the bringing, bringing to heal of something here with this arguing and fighting and all this stuff. Like you're trying to make something pliable. You're making it your way. Again, the anticipation there in the past. You've always thought about divorce, but you never went through with it. And then here in the future, we have the two of pentacles. Hmm. Because you're in the situation, five of wands, we look to the past, there was always something like this going on, this type of energy. Attitude, the moon. There is a bit of, again, take this with a grain of salt because I might be super judgy right now. There is a bit of blackmailish behavior going on here the crowning thoughts this is the thing that you think about the attitude this is how you feel so thoughts so mind and heart you want something to submit and then the moon card says that there is no real end to it it's suspicious why are you trying to bring something to heal why are you trying to conquer something now, mind you, it's not through force. It's through a different means. Because the fighting here is not something you are willing to endure, but it's something you've always endured. Look, at, look to the past if you want to know why this is repeating. So there is something there that has always been there. And then again, with your challenge, the Four of Swords, there is some, some pulling back of resources, money, property, expenses, 
I don't know if you were getting kickbacks from her in YouTube life coach empire thing or what, but there's that. Um, hmm. The star and the hopes and fears. Hopes and fears and the ten of swords. So here in the root, the root cause of something is usually driven by one's mentality or hopes and fears. So you want something, maybe some stardom. Maybe that's why you're ending this. You want something to heal as well. Now, well, let me pull the last one first. Okay, Ace of Pentacles. Now, what you do not see are cups. There's no emotion. This is the only sort of water card here. There is no emotion. There's no people in this. There are no children in this either. But there are three pentacle cards. And I think the reason that he is now doing this is because he wants the resources. He wants some publicity or he wants to get a kickback or he wants to pull money from somewhere. Because right now it's on shaky foundation. There's some manipulation and blackmail is what I think is what's going on there. But I could be wrong. Now, where are they? I think they're in Iowa or Ohio. One day, I don't remember. But the state the attorney general said that there needs to be some sort of regulations on life coaches. Right now, there currently aren't any. So what I want to know is, will that pick up some steam? Will there now be regulations on people who call themselves life coaches? Oh, I flipped out. Seven of Wands are some defending, so we'll see. Will there be some regulation on life coaches? King of Cups, that would be life coach to me. This is my preacher, pastor, motivator type of card. And the Will of Fortune, eventually, yes, there will be, because it will be an industry that has an impact. I mean, it already does, but it will be bigger than it is currently. This is a thing that will happen in time. So, yes, there will be some sort of regulation. Um, the Eight of Cups, I think because there will be a lot more complaints or a lot more. Not It's not all. Some of it's frivolous. And so it's one of the things to where you in your mind had an idea of how it was going to go and then when it didn't go that way suddenly that person's a scam artist and this and that when it could be you maybe you just weren't taking the advice correctly maybe whatever the case may be there's something there to where this is going to balloon because of those involved uh word of warning seven of pentacles yes we're dealing with time is all there will be a Sort of a backlog of this type of thing. Five of Swords, Two of Pentacles to end it off. Yes, there will be some regulation on life coaching. Now, this doesn't mean that, you know, it's going to be devastating, but there will be an attempt to do something. So, I guess we'll see. 